The last time we talked about Jamaril Stewart, a lot was going on. Jamaril had a miscarriage. She called the police on her husband and he was arrested for assault and battery to a family member, a criminal misdemeanor. Her father-in-law passed away. Jamaril broke her wrist and she used this trauma currently going on in her life to sell better help to her viewers. Jamaril isn't new to sharing about trauma. On YouTube, she posted a video back in 2019 answering assumptions about her, raw and personal, and she talks about her father and how he was an alcoholic, and she said he was sick. And she said, as a child, there were times in her life when they lived in a camper with no heat or water. There's a lot of messy, messy things, but no matter what, I knew I had my mom, I knew I had Jesus, I knew my dad was sick. Jamaril also shared this video on YouTube titled, I was beaten up at a bowling alley. And she shared this when she was pregnant. So this title and this thumbnail upset a lot of viewers. They thought it was clickbait. And some viewers were worried for Jamaril because when she shared this video on YouTube, she was pregnant. This title and thumbnail made viewers think this was something that recently happened while she was pregnant. Some of the comments left on this video called Jamaril out for using clickbait. One viewer writes, this headline made me think you were just beat up while pregnant and not just a story from your youth. Jamaril responded, some viewers are upset at the thumbnail and title. As I said in response to one comment, I felt the story was important to keep in this video and share because it came out naturally. In this video, Jamaril was putting on lip gloss and showing the different lip glosses she uses because she said she gets a lot of questions about that. And she started talking about her lip, saying that one side looks different than the other side. And then she told the story about what happened to her lip. See where my lip goes in there? And it looks like maybe I had a cleft lip when I was a child or something. I was actually beat up at a bowling alley by my friend's mom. Can you believe that? When I was eight years old. A viewer said, I felt the title should have included this being a past event. You, the baby, your kids, and your husband are all okay. In this situation, Jamaril didn't seem to understand where her viewers were coming from and why they felt this was clickbait. Jamaril responded, it's fine. Several folks have felt that way. I felt fine with how I had it. In this thread of comments, Jamaril also goes on to talk about her father and how he died. A viewer said, Jamaril, I cannot fathom a child being beaten like you were at the bowling alley. The adults you were with failed you. The bowling alley failed to protect you and your father is the worst for asking them to bring you home. My heart hurts for you. I'll give you a quick recap of this story. Jamaril said her mom was out of town and her father let her spend the weekend with her friend. And this was a friend that she had spent many weekends with. Jamaril and her friend went to the bowling alley with her friend's mom and her mom's boyfriend. They asked her what type of candy bar she wanted, and she said a certain candy bar. They brought back a different candy bar. She made a comment about it, you know, just being a little kid, saying, I wanted the other candy bar. And Jamaril said maybe she whined a little bit about not getting the candy bar that she wanted. She couldn't really remember the details. But her friend's mom had been drinking and drugged Jamaril across a skating rink. But her mom, in a drunk rage, dug her fingernails into me, dragged me across the bowling alley, into the bathroom. During that time, I'm screaming the whole time, you are not my mom, you are not my mom, get off me. And Jamaril's friend's mom busted her lip. No one called the police, but another mom at the skating rink saw what happened and took Jamaril out to the payphone to call her father. And her father, who was an alcoholic, asked her friend's parents to bring Jamaril home. And during the car ride home, her friend's mom continued to just scream and yell at her the entire time. Going back to what the viewer said, Jamaril, I cannot fathom a child being beaten like you were at the bowling alley. The adults you were with failed you. The bowling alley failed you. And your father is the worst for asking them to bring you home. Jamaril responded, right. He was also an out of touch and uninvolved alcoholic who killed himself a few years later while I was home alone with him. So I didn't expect much from his direction.
Current day, Jamaril has stated that she has experienced secondary trauma in August of this year, 2023. But she has yet to go into detail about what actually happened. And I don't think she has to go into detail about what happened unless she wants to. But I do find it interesting that she is willing to talk very open and honest about trauma from her childhood. She's open to talk about her dad and how he killed himself and other things that have happened throughout her life. But the current trauma involving Jamaril's household Jamaril, her husband, and her kids, she is not willing to open up and talk about that, at least not yet. I don't know if she will one day. In the past, when Jamaril has shared about trauma from her childhood, viewers have accused her of just using the story to get views, using the story as clickbait, and Jamaril says... She shared the story of being beaten as a child at the bowling alley because she hoped it would be helpful and encouraging to those who need it and to fellow survivors. Three years ago, after she shared the bowling alley story, Jamaril said that she had been contacted by thousands of people who told her that the sharing of her testimony was a great encouragement to them. We know Jamaril's husband, Travis Stewart, was arrested back in August. There was a handwritten criminal complaint filed by Jamaril. In this criminal complaint, Jamaril states that her daughter was crying and stated, I was washing dishes and daddy started screaming at blank about him eating the burnt bagel. And Blank was screaming he didn't want to. Daddy picked him up in some kind of ninja move by his arm and threw him on the blue chair in the kitchen, throwing him and slinging him in the air and slammed him down. Then Daddy beat him for several minutes. I wanted to throw the wooden spoon at his head to get him to stop, but I knew that would make more trouble. Jamaril stated she gathered her thoughts and started making a plan because she feared for her children's safety. She went in the house to make a plan with her mom and called 911 for help. Travis had to go to court. He had to pay an $86 fee. And the current status of his case is deferred disposition, which means he'll be placed on probation and he has to pay court costs and an administrative fee. His cost was $86 and he did pay his fees in full. And Jamaril has been posting a lot of motivational quotes on Instagram like this one. You healed your wounds instead of spreading the pain. That strength. And she ran her first 10K for Christmas. Jamaril has not been wearing her wedding ring. She has not mentioned Travis at all. So a lot of people think they're headed for divorce. That's what's been going on with Jamaril and Travis. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines. See you next time.